What's going on you guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to train your entire legs. I'm talking your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your calves from home using a single dumbbell. So this workout is going to have a bunch of exercises that you can do for a full workout, or you can pick a few of these workouts and create your own style of workout. Say you want to train your quads, then you take only the quad workouts out of this. Say you want to train your hamstrings, then you take only the hamstring workout out of this. I'd advise doing them all for a full workout of your entire legs. So if that kind of stuff interests you, make sure to stick around for this video right here. And let's get right to it. You know how we do this, man. Alright, so for the first workout we're going to have in this routine, we're going to be doing some single dumbbell sumo squats, 4 sets, 8 to 12 repetitions. For this one right here, if you have a lightweight dumbbell, you want to do between 20 to 30 repetitions, but if you have a heavyweight dumbbell, then do between 8 to 12. Start in a wide stance and then squat until you feel tension in your legs, so that's how to do that. Here's a tip for you guys, make sure to squeeze your glutes or your butt at the top of every lift. So you have to make sure that you flex them, you gotta squeeze them every single time. Here's some more tips for you guys. You want to make sure that you aren't lifting the weight with your arms, so they should only act as a support. You also want to make sure that you're controlling your breathing every single rep. The final tip for this exercise right here, you want to make sure that you lower your body to just below 90 degrees. Just below it is fine. All right, so for the second workout, single dumbbell regular squats, four sets, eight to 12 repetitions. And just like the last one, you want to follow the same rule for the dumbbell weights. To do this one, you want to start in a neutral stance and squat until you feel tension in your legs and then explosively back upwards. Next tip for you guys right here, you want to squat every single repetition until, and I say until you're in a sitting position, like a low sitting position. So make sure you get as low as your legs will let you go and then back up. Okay, some more tips for you guys right here. Make sure your arms are only acting as support for the weights and not doing a lot of the work. And you also want to control your breathing, just like every single exercise. For the final tip for this one, hold the dumbbell evenly so the weight is distributed properly. So you want an even distribution of the weights. Okay, next up we've got some single dumbbell calf raises. Four sets, 20 reps. For the first tip for this one, just like the rest of them, you want to follow the rules for the weights. You also want to start in a close stance and raise your calves until you feel tension and then hold it there for a second and then bring it downwards. Okay, the next tip you should take note of is you want to make, make sure that you're focusing on the workout the entire way through. It's easy to lose focus so you don't tip over, which you know, I don't know if you want to. All right, the next tip I've got for you is you could also use a plate, a board, or a book, or anything else for that matter that's flat to, you know, increase the effectiveness of this workout. I'll also have you note that more balance is required when using a plate, so keep that in mind while doing this. Okay, for this one, single dumbbell side lunges. You want to do four sets, eight to 12 repetitions per side. Okay, just like the rest of the workouts in this routine, remember if you have light weights, you work with that. If you have heavy weights, you work with that. Start at a shoulder width and then lunge to one side until you feel tension in your hamstrings and then repeat with the other leg. Okay, here's a tip for you guys. Lunge until you feel tension 
in your hamstrings. That's absolutely necessary. You have to make sure you're feeling tension in your hamstrings every time you lunge from one end to the other one. Another pointer for you guys is to make sure that you lunge to a 90 degree angle from one end to the other one. So always at a 90 degree angle or, or something very similar. Okay, for this one, single dumbbell RDLs, you wanna do about four sets, eight to 10 repetitions per leg. If you have a lightweight dumbbell and you don't have a moderate weight dumbbell like the one I'm using in the video, you want to uh, do about 20 reps per leg. Start with, you know, both feet close to each other and then let the dumbbell down until you feel tension in your hamstrings. Here's a tip for you guys right here. You want to flex and squeeze your butt or your glutes for more effectiveness, increased effectiveness. Okay, I've got some more for you guys. Lean forward without using your arms to lift. They should only act as hooks. And you also want to make sure that you're feeling that tension in your hamstrings before you go back up. You gotta feel it first. If you don't feel it, you're not all the way down there yet. Okay, you also want to aim to lower your dumbbell till your body is at at least a 90 degree angle with the floor. So you basically want to make your body, you know, parallel with the ground before you go back up. Finally, for the last tip for this one, you want to also focus on maintaining your balance and completing each rep slowly. Don't rush through it. You might just trip over, which I don't know if you want that. Next up, we've got some single dumbbell front lunges, three sets, eight to 12 reps per leg. For this one, you want to do the same thing we've been doing if you have lightweights or heavyweights. To do this, you want to start with both feet close to each other and then you lunge forward uh, to a 90 degree angle while keeping your back straight. So that's important. You want to keep your back straight and lunge forward till your knees are at 90 degrees with the floor. So that's how to do this one. Then repeat with the other foot or the, or, or the other leg. Here's some more tips for you guys. You want to lunge back to the same starting position each and every single time you launch forward. So launch back to the same position every time. Okay, here we go for the final one. Single dumbbell reverse lunges. Four sets, eight to 12 repetitions. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing if we have lightweight or heavyweight dumbbells. For this one, you want to also make sure that you start with both of your feet close to each other and then you lunge backwards to a 90 degree angle. Here's some more tips for you guys right here. You want to uh, keep your back straight and lunge backward till your knees are at 90 degrees with the floor. Okay, some more tips for you guys and the final tips for this workout. Lunge back till you feel tension in your hamstrings and then alternate and repeat with the other foot so or the, or the other leg. So you gotta make sure that you're lunging back to a 90 degree angle until you feel that tension. So there you guys go right there. There's a workout you can do from home using just one dumbbell. It's always better to be able to do it with two dumbbells because most of the time you can always have the weights hanging along your sides to offset each other's weight. But if you try to do that with one dumbbell, it's not going to end well. So you're going to have to hit your biceps a little bit when working using a single dumbbell because you're going to be doing a lot of holds which involve, you know, your bicep, which is also good for you. But your biceps aren't like the main target or nothing like that. So you're hitting all sections of your legs with this workout right here. If you have a lightweight dumbbell, make sure to do a good amount of reps. So I'm talking 12 to 20 reps. Work those legs right there. But if you have a heavyweight dumbbell, try to do somewhere between eight to 12 reps. When I say lightweight or heavyweight dumbbell, that's according to you. Whatever feels light to you and heavy to you. So you work your way up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to see some more videos like this one right here, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas. And I'm out, y'all. <laughs>